What's up, guys? Vince Ryder here. And I'm doing an early one again because uh, not every day I have opportunity to record. That's why I don't do interviews because I really do need my own studio to make certain things happen. I need a studio for a lot of things for my only, like, you know, dance practice that I still do. Uh, try to lose weight here and also to do to make more videos that you guys ask for to stream more to collab with promises that I made with other youtubers but and and pretty much just a whole numerous about a bunch of stuff especially for my job and yeah it will be nice to have one I can deal with the heat I can deal with all that but the thing is is that that's not how it works apparently as I was looking for a, a cabin or something like that for the backyard so I can record in there. Uh, apparently, I can't do that because the landlord doesn't allow it. So that's just freaking great. Apparently, you're going to get these unscheduled, un, like, you know, like just, just unorganized videos of me just, just, you know, shooting like the shots. Basically recording them early. And I wish I can just make stuff like, you know, especially, you know, having ideas for Patreon for different video ideas. But no, that's not the world I live in, okay? I have to go by the rules and uh, the un like unexpected that most people... But I guess that's how life is, I guess, you know? But it's just that as I'm trying to really find ways to motivate myself to make more videos, it's beginning to be more harder and harder. And I guess that's why I need a vacation, which is going to be pretty soon. Only a few days till I leave to Europe. So that's just going to be great. I'm going to be out of this country, out of its problems... And uh, hopefully I'll be okay. I mean, hopefully I'll be alive. Okay, that's for sure. But uh, hey, you know what? <laughs> you just never know. I just hope that everything would be okay. And that's what I'm trying to get right, right with God. And if you're worried or anything like that, you should be right with God. But other than that, yeah. Welcome back to the Vince Talk during this freaking heat wave. I don't know what's happening out there. It's a thousand Celsius. Okay. <laughs> And that's not how Celsius works, Vince. You think I know how Celsius works? You you telling an American how Celsius works? How, do you think we freaking care? We call it a thousand Celsius because that's what it freaking feels like. It is hot. It is it is blazing out there. But I guess I'm used to it. But the thing what I'm not used to is the wrong timing that this heat is coming in. It is affecting everyone here. I mean, then again, it feels like America is just dying all over. You know, the people uh, in the Appalachia Hills, you know, prayers to them. They're going through it over there in the East Coast, uh, like the, the aftermath of the tsunami, especially hitting up in North Carolina. That's just... And the thing is, is that I'm not an East Coast cat. I have no idea what is going on there in the East Coast, you know. I, I don't know, despite my accent. But, you know, it, it's just... It's heartbreaking. It's it's sad to see that, especially for creators that I follow that live over there, they're going through it. They are fighting a war. And you know what? Just just pray for them. If there's any way to, you know, fund or, you know, support them, please do it because they're dealing with a lot. I'm over here dealing with my, <laughs> with, 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 with my disaster of just this heat wave. But over there, they're dealing with something even worse. And it's, it's heartbreaking to see. And I keep seeing like other people like, you know, criticizing the politicians that are not taking care of them. I can see that because apparently the politicians are too busy giving a million thousand million dollars to freaking Ukraine for something. But and, you know, big shout out to Ukraine. There's a lot of, you know, stuff going on around the world. But the thing is about what about our own country? What about here in America where, you know, we're going through a, a disaster that is basically costing us millions billions what did trump say billions 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 you know stuff like that so i don't know what's happening i just wish that that hopefully we all be over because it feels like every time i hear a disaster no matter where in america i feel like they're strong enough to move through it i feel like they can survive and i also feel like that a lot of houses should be built uh, to sustain us from these type of dis disasters that are happening in this country. But, you know, I don't know what's going to happen here in California when, when I'm out of the country. So I can, I don't know. I guess the people that are just not in, you know, their own country or something like, especially here in the U.S., in places that they usually live that actually are having these disasters, don't have to deal with that. But then again, the people that are staying have to deal with it. And the thing is that I have no... 
like you know it's not very like wide spoken out there it's kind of sad that it's not really getting the headlines that it deserves i wish that a lot of these top creators would make freaking you know charity videos of just like you know helping the the people out over there you know but other than that yeah that's what's going on i really don't know what much to say i wasn't really planning on talking about it but for any disaster that's happening in the world a lot of times i just usually don't really care and i don't really have the best uh, of talking about but since it's here in the u.s and since it's here like literally where i live you know i feel like it's only right to actually address that and also you know really think about you know the people that are really going through those things and just send prayers my condolences to those that are lost everything during those tragic moments a lot of tragedy going on especially with the dock workers or something i don't know what's going on my family's been doing this whole panic buying early before the panic buying and i think it's starting right now as people are panic buying Thank goodness I'm not on Costco during that because right now there is a thousand like going on in Costco. I cannot, I can never imagine really working there or going there every freaking day because that just sounds stressful. <laughs> like I just went there and it's like, damn, I just, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's just like the dock workers not getting paid, but it's also affecting a lot of people that, you know, got their stuff from, you know, overseas and how to get to get it. I don't know because the dock workers, they're protesting for better pay. Which I feel like that's kind of like a usual thing in every country right now. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, let's get into it. Uh, also, I heard the, the debate of Tim Walsh and J.D. Vance. And since I'm not a political channel, despite me talking about some politics, uh, I haven't watched it and I have no idea what's going on. That's all That's all I could tell you is that I have no idea what's going on. I, I don't I don't know really like like how it is like going on with that debate compared to like Kamala and, you know, Trump. But yeah, it, it seems pretty big. It seems a, a big deal to some extent. But other than that, yeah, let's talk about some gaming, the fun stuff. Well, not really the fun stuff. The reason why I want to record this early is because, well, there's a war going on in the gaming world, okay? <laughs> it's Nintendo versus the world. I feel like Nintendo, you know, has a lot of haters. I could be one of them. I, I literally said it in my in my tweet, they can go to hell. That's plain and simple. Okay, listen, Nintendo's not going to watch this. I'm a small channel. I don't know if there's going to be some AI of just like they have up there or try to do a scan of whoever's talking about Nintendo or giving them schmack or something like even if they freaking care about a person like me that does that is like poor and that you, you just got to like attack me because I said something about Nintendo. Ooh, I heard his feelings or something like that. I don't freaking care. Listen, Nintendo is a billion dollar, billions, billions. Trump said billions, 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 dollars, dollar, dollar, billions, blah, 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 billions. Okay, mega corporation. I guarantee you, like a freaking small channel that doesn't even get thirty a month. Like, like they, they, they just don't care. I guarantee you. But in case they do care. I'm holding a big old finger to you, Nintendo. I just want to let you know that, okay? A big old finger to your face. Because they just keep getting, like, a, like just, just getting worse. What is up with the legal team? I feel like everything, like, for example, if I'm a fan of Bieber, if you know, you know, okay? I swear I know I, there's probably an age audience here that have no idea who Justin Bieber is. But I'm just naming some pop star, Taylor Swift. If I made a freaking fan art of Taylor Swift and I'm showing it on YouTube, why would I get a strike for being a fan of Taylor Swift? It doesn't make sense. The same thing with Nintendo. Apparently, fan games are getting taken down. Videos are getting taken down. Emulators of all sorts are getting taken down. The freaking PAL world and Pokemon, like, what, what are they doing? Like, they, that's getting taken down. Like, I swear, greed is the biggest sin. And Nintendo is committing that sin in the utmost degree. It is insane because they just don't care about anybody. Nintendo doesn't care about anyone. They don't care about you. If I met them right now, I guarantee you they don't care about that, okay? There are certain celebrities or certain people that do care about that, the fans at least. Maybe that's their job. There's certain, certain companies that care about the consumers. And yeah, you can call out Microsoft and, and Ubisoft and, 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 and PlayStation Soft. And, 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 but not Nintendo Soft, okay? It's more like Nintendo Hard because they're hard to deal with. That's, that's weird. But yeah, you know, it, it's, it's like what's going on with Nintendo 
the Power World, Retro Corpse with his YouTube channel, like getting strikes, especially from Nintendo. They literally put a law of, uh, not a law, but basically terms or whatever you may freaking call it that Nintendo put out there saying like, hey, if we strike your video, you, you, you're you not supposed to question it. You, don't, you, you know, you will, you will not win, basically. That's what they're saying. I don't know what's the right terms, okay? But basically, if Nintendo strikes you down, you, you're not going to win. You're not, listen, if Nintendo takes your candy, you think you're about to fight them? Yep, yeah, th you can have it. You know, you can take my wallet, Nintendo. If Nintendo robs me, hey, wh you, what am I supposed to do? You got a freaking army. You got a freaking Marine Ford right behind you, ready to smack dab me a thousand billions. Did Trump say billion? Billion, 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 billion times, okay? And I would literally be dead like over 10,000 times. Like, like, it's insane. <laughs> People don't understand how this is just insane because Nintendo just goes far and beyond. What is this have to do with the freaking Switch 2? What is happening? What is going on? Listen, this is my rage going freaking flying at you. But I know I have to be professional and I know I have to make sense here in many, in many ways. Basically, what Nintendo did, they took down a channel. A, t a channel... That basically, yes, there was a video that it made sense why they took it down. But at the same time, wh why do they even care? I feel like Nintendo, a lot of times, no matter if you even follow their terms, if you follow or basically just be on their good side so they don't strike you down, so they don't freaking like take your whole channel down or anything like that. Listen, I've been terminated before. My channel has been terminated five times. Okay. And it's not fun. I can tell you that much. It's not a good time. And imagine at least my channel always comes back, or at least I hope so, from the people that do take it down because it's just like a mistake. It's just an AI thing or something or whatever, auto mode, what, what, whatever it is. But every time I emailed them, they were like, yeah, you know, because I talked to their like um, um, staff people. And hopefully I think that Nintendo maybe have some staff people in some department and pretty much they, you know, whoever the creator is that actually got the strike might probably talk to them and maybe they can get that resolve. But no promises because Nintendo literally said it was on the news somewhere that if they put a strike on your channel, you don't have any rights to take it back. You don't have the rights to actually get your, you know, the strike removed or whatever it is. It's their decision. If they take you down, they're taking you down. You're the target. And let me tell you right now, it's not a good time to be in anyone being seen by Nintendo. They're freaking hungry for blood. They're hungry for money. And it's a, it's it's just demonic. It's it's painful to, just to see this going on in real time, as especially the emulator. Ryu Jinx, one of the Switch emulators being, and I, I understand why, but at the same time, I was like, they, really? You could just do it like that. Just paid them off. And Ryu Jinx just took that. I don't know if they did or not. They, I heard they still had like the Patreon up, but it's, it's insane. Like just, it, it's going to keep going on. I don't know when is this going to stop. Nintendo is just beyond, just, just over the, the roof right now of with its craziness. With its greediness, it, it's 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 like it, I guess it doesn't stop. And I'm trying to really put two and two together with this other topic as well in my head. Who is really defending Nintendo? Okay. Oh, we're defending piracy. We're defending this and that. Do, why would you freaking care? It makes sense if they pirate like indie games or just like certain games that you know. But with games that don't come out, especially for like a Wii game or an NES game or something like that, there's people that literally said even if you you know pirate an NES game or something like that, oh you deserve the death penalty or something crazy that they're saying. And pretty much there's a good reason why I don't remember their name or why they're a small channel and why they they don't get any love and why they get dislikes because last time I checked, man, that was a lot of dislikes and a lot of you know comments within their comments section if they even have one because they probably you know the leo of the comments but other than that like it like like just just small stuff like that from the community that is over there like the anti-pirates they calling themselves like whatever the marines or the nintendo people of and listen whatever your opinion is is up to you but at the same time you really look like a snob when you're over there defending a freaking mega corporation that don't give a damn about you again they don't give a damn. About you think Nintendo cares about you? You, you, you think you what? What? That is idolizing. That is idol. That's a sin.
Okay, over here talking about like you, you, you over here like worshiping and, and sucking on Nintendo's balls right now, and and trying to fend for them, when all the emulators that the people work hard for they don't even get paid are being taken down. It, it's just, it's insane. <laughs> Like, I don't understand with the people that are defending for Nintendo or anything, but that's just in my head. That's just, you know, that's just, you know, the demons tempting me. But at the same time, this, you know, my heart goes out to the fellow high seas. That's for damn sure. The Retro Corp itself. Listen, no major YouTuber is going to look at this video. I guarantee you. Maybe they might. Maybe YouTube might have an algorithm of like a certain person that they're going to show to another person that also has that same energy. As me that actually has a bigger audience and showcase my videos or something and I want to let you know look at the all the other videos I talk about here this is not a hundred percent a gaming channel as much as I want to make it a gaming channel right now it is not a hundred percent a gaming channel but this is just my opinions and this is how I feel because when I heard when freaking Nintendo is having a freaking scorch fest out there it, it, it hurts it angers me but it also disappoints me it's like like, this is how you're just going to run your business to the ground, not have any good, not even have a conversation with them, saying that emulation is illegal when it's not. It, it's just, it, 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 it doesn't seem right. And this is why I just can never play anything with Nintendo. I can never buy any of their games. I'd rather play on PC because I guarantee you, like, like what... For the longest time, if you notice with my streams, I haven't really played anything from Nintendo for a long time. Because I don't even trust their terms. They could take you down even if you play it on the Switch. We're talking about legally buying it from the eShop. You can play it. And guess what? They will still take you down. <laughs> like, so who's really sucking on the freaking Nintendo's balls out here? <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, that's what I want to say. Listen. I usually am not like this. And bring this type of energy. As you can tell, probably the amount of words that I'm making up, I might as well speak a different language because I'm just probably not making any damn sense with my anger. Because that's the thing. A lot of times I operate on my videos without the anger. Or maybe some of it, depending on what the topic is. Like this one for ex is existence. But it, it, it just drives my words to a word salad and also drives it off the wall. Because... I, it's hard for me to control myself when I'm talking about this stuff because this is the stuff that I'm passionate with. Is the freedom. I speak for the people. Okay? And I feel like Nintendo's just not going to listen. They're just like out here Bill Gates two times just, just taking everyone out with, with just the stuff they have. And I don't want to be pessimistic and say it's going to get worse. There's always going to be a force. There's always going to be the Hydra effect when it comes to emulation. And Ryu James is just one of my favorites. It's better than Yuzu, in my opinion. But then since that was taken down, uh, yeah. And even though I haven't really used, you know, Ryu James for a while, I'd rather play my games in physical hardware. Like, I have a Switch, of course. But with PC, it's better. So I don't really know. Like, if I'm playing on, like, an emulator on my PC, I might as well get the PC uh, version of the game like there's no S nintendo game that i grew up with and i'm not really a nintendo kid i was a playstation kid when i grew up but other than that yeah i think i'll just stop here because this is insane like shoot rp to ryu jinx <sighs> or maybe ryu jinx just was like yeah farewell and they took the money and they're like yeah i'm out of here <laughs> because would you want to go against the that freaking billions billions mega, cor mega corporation no, you won't. I wouldn't. Okay? Shoot. If they tell me to shut up and delete the video, just tell me, Nintendo. Tell me. You know what would be good? If you can just tell them. Like, hey, can you please, you know, take down this video instead of striking channels? You know, you know they, they can do you a favor. Okay? I don't understand. Nintendo's the only kind of, like, corporation. You don't see PlayStation doing this. You don't see Xbox doing this. It, it's insane. Um, but anyways, moving on from that... Uh, yeah, let's talk about some animation. <laughs> Something fun, I guess, because, I don't know. I feel like this is going to be a short epi ep because, I don't know, it's, it's just might as well be. When, with all this talk about emulation or something like that, you want to actually just, you know, move on to something before Nintendo actually makes action within watching this uh, video, which I don't want. I don't want that smoke, okay? Anyways, Hell of a Boss. So I saw the new short of Hell of a Boss. 
But that's okay. I mean, it has to do something with, you know, place in Mexico that they're in. I don't, I thought that, you know, Brandon, the, the voice actor for Blitz, so is a Latino. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's not. But other than that, yeah, I, it was a good, you know, episode. It was okay. I really have not dwelled into, like, how old boss. I'm still, like, on the hook of just, like, you know, it's, I don't know. It's, it's, even though it's not a big deal, it's still on my head about, like, how Viv made a scene in, like, some of the episodes during Hell of a Boss where he, she just literally murdered children. And that's not cool. That's not cool. Like, it's not, it's supposed to be a joke, but no one's laughing. I don't see how that's funny. And I get the, the point, like, you making the bad guy the bad guys. Leave kids out of this, okay? Murdering them for the sake of comedy, that's just demonic. Which is not a surprise, but, you know, I don't know. I just don't know what to feel about that scene. <laughs> man, oh man. Also, um, I saw uh, the casting for One Piece. And let me tell you, season two is looking better and better, and I'm excited. But also, can we talk about Robin? Nico Robin? Oh, oh she is killing it. Killing it. Perfect. Perfect character for that. And I, it is also a Russian that is playing as Robin. I was like, I thought it was going to be a Latino or an Italian no, it's actually a Russian playing as Ron, which I'm like, okay. <laughs> never thought, yeah, I mean, because it makes sense. Nico Robin is Russian, but I never thought they would actually host because of the conflict with Russia and also Ukraine with that whole thing. And I guess One Piece, whoever made it, Oda, probably didn't care and was like, yeah, let's just put a Russian, you know. <laughs> Maybe it's a Russian from, you know, Russia that lives somewhere else, but. Yeah, it's a Russian. From what it looks like, from the person's name, and and I did a little bit of research of it. Yeah, he, yeah, she's from Russia, and playing as Nico Robin, which is also a Russian. Even though Nico Robin doesn't look Russian, like her skin is dark enough to actually be something else, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So so that's what's going on. Um, also, I've been watching Cat Side, the documentary. I was supposed to watch the Vix Man McMahon Mc. Okay, <laughs> what's up with that last name, yo? <laughs> Well, uh, but yeah, the, I saw that documentary just a little bit, but I was like, man, it's not my thing. I'm not into wrestling. I got half of the hour of the, the first episode of the, the Vix McMahon, uh, documentary, but instead I watched Cat's Eye, you know, the documentary where they had the rehearsals and everything like that. And that was like, I, I prefer that better. I, I guess, you know, and also the chosen, make sure to watch the chosen. I'm on season three. I love the chosen. I, I mean, it's one of my favorites, especially during the night before I sleep. Okay, it's about the Bible. It's an authentic, you know, kind of like from the way I look at it, a better representation of any film of the Bible. Okay, of you know when, when Jesus was around. Uh, this is the perfect representation of it. Of uh, you know, in episodes, episodes. Also, it's free. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you subscribe, like, comment, all that jazz. Hopefully, I get through this heat, and hopefully, I'm ready for uh, Europe. One of the peace. God bless.